hey, 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 it is Tuesday. So, <clears throat> do you remember when I got a bunch of airheads for Valentine's Day? Well, I've been eating them and uh, can you guess what color I was eating? It's still kind of there, huh? It was really intense a while ago. <laughs> it's blue. Thank you for my delicious airheads. I hope you're having a wonderful day in the sunshine. Today, this is lesson 108, I believe, in your math book. We are now doing divisibility rules. So we have a set of rules that help us to know if a number is divisible by something. Okay, so as we go through section one together, I will talk about the rules and we will implement choosing if the numbers that are displayed are divisible by that number or not. Okay, so in the box are all of these facts. And uh, please read the box, but I'm not gonna do this on this video. So like I said, we'll go through section one together. And as we come up to the divisibility, I'll talk about it. Are you ready? Here we go. I'm going to circle in orange. I'm really liking the orange right now. Okay, so number one says circle the even numbers and underline the odd numbers. Even numbers end in zero, two, four, six, and eight. Odd numbers end in one, three, five, seven, and nine. Okay, so 12 even, circle it. 24 even, circle it. 17 odd, underline. 5 odd, underline. 84 even, circle it. 63 odd, underline. And 19 odd, underline. The reason they want you to remember how to recognize even and odd numbers is because of divisibility for the number two. Every single even number is divisible by two. Okay, so that's why we have to practice even and odds. So number two says put a check mark in the blank if the number is divisible by two. So if the number is even, then it is. If the number is odd, it is not. 14, even, check it. Divisible by two. 23, odd. 10, remember, I said even numbers end in zero, two, four, six, eight. All right, so 10 ends in zero, it's even. Put a check there. 57, odd. 29, odd. 18, even. Check it. All right, number three, you're gonna place a check in the blank if the number is divisible by three. A number is divisible by three if the sum of the digits is divisible by three. And so this is, we're just gonna start practicing what that means. Each of these numbers is called a digit. When they say, if the sum of the digits is divisible by three, that means you add them two together. So 43 has the digit four and the digit three. You add four plus three, that equals seven. Is seven divisible by three? No, don't put a check. Now here's 27, there are two digits here. You add them together, two plus seven. Two plus seven equals nine. Is nine divisible by three? Yes, it is. We also know that 27 divided by three is nine. Here are two digits. They make up the number 15. One plus five. One plus five is six. Is six divisible by three? Yes, it is. Put a check mark. Three and six make 36. So we're going to add the digits together, and if the sum is divisible by three, then it's then this number is divisible by three. Three plus six is nine. Is nine divisible by three? Yes. Check it. 81. 
Now 81 is way past our times table. Our times table goes up to 36, right? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36. That's as far as we go. Well, we need to know if 81 is divisible by 3. If we add the digits together and the sum is divisible by 3, then the whole number is. 8 plus 1 equals 9. Therefore, 81 is divisible by 3. That's why we do this. 47. 4 plus 7 equals 11. 11 is not divisible by 3. So you do not put a check mark there. Okay, next one, number 4. Place a check in the blank if the number is divisible by 4. A number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits are both zeros or if the last two digits are divisible by 4. So you're only looking at the last two digits. If, both of, if the last two digits are 0, zero excuse me, zero, 0, it's divisible by 4. Or if the last two digits are divisible by 4, then you're good. So let's check it out. 132. We're only looking at the last two digits. 32 divisible by 4. Give it a check. 600. The last two digits are 0, 0. Divisible by 4. The last two numbers are 31. Is 31 divisible by 4? No, it's not. 18 out of 718. The last two digits are 18. That's not divisible by 4. 08 out of 408. The last two digits are 0, 8, which means 8. Is 8 divisible by 4? Yes, it is. Give it a check. And 200. The last two digits are 0, 0. That means it is divisible by 4. The divisibility for rule number four, the number 4 is the last two digits are 0, 0, or if the last two digits are divisible by 4. Okay? Number 5, the divisibility rule for number 5. Anything that ends in a 5 or a 0 is divisible by 5. So we're only looking at the last number. And that's it. That's all we need to know. Is the last number a 5 or is the last number a 0? That's it. Okay? That's it. 254. Doesn't end in 5 or 4. Don't check it. 150. Ends in a 0. Check it. 75. Ends in a 5. Check it. 16. Ends in a 6. Don't check it. 29. Ends in a 6. Don't check it. 40. Ends in a 0. Check it. So the divisibility rule for the number 5 is does it end in a 5 or a 0? Then you're good in the ones place. That's all you need to look at. So number 6. The divisibility... Oh, so section 6 is for the divisibility uh, by 9. So you're going to add the digits again. If the sum of the digits is divisible by 9, if the whole thing can be divided by 9. All right? Which means the whole thing can also be divided by 3. All right, so if the sum of the digits is divisible by 9, you can divide the entire number evenly by 9. Remember, each of these is a digit. You add them together. So for 81, we add the digits together. 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 is divisible by 9. Check it. 1 plus 2 plus 6. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 6 is 9. 126 is divisible by 9. 3 plus 9, 3 plus 9 is 12. Ooh, not divisible by 9. 5 plus 0 plus 4 equals 9. Ooh, 504 is totally divisible by 9. 3 plus 2 is 5, plus 7 is 12. Ooh, 327 is not divisible by 9. You think it might be divisible by 9 because it ends in 27. We know that 27 divided by 9 is 3. But it's not. When you add all the digits together, 
it is not evenly divided by 9. Okay? 8 plus 4 is 12, and 12 plus 9 is 21. Mm, not divisible by 9. So they put 849 in there because it ends in 9. We think, oh, divisible by 9. No. They put 327 there because it ends in 27. Well, we know 27 is divisible by 9, but no, the whole number is not. Okay, and the last one has to do with 10. If a number ends with a 0 in the 1's place, then the whole thing is divisible by 10. All right, so all you're looking for is a 0 at the end. If it's got a 0 at the end, you're good to go for dividing by 10. 30. Yes. 240. Yes. 96. No. 85. No. 500. Yes. 275. No. All right. So this is for the number 10. Can you see over here? Okay, good. This is for the number 10. This is for the number 9. This is for the number five. Yeah. This is for the number four. This is for the number three. And this is for the number two. Okay? That is your divisibility rules video lesson. And if you need a reminder, just watch it again. Read the lesson. All right, it's got all the information there. We just practice putting the information to use. Now you know how Miss Caitlin writes her division problems on the board with all those big long numbers and then chooses a divisor out of nowhere and evenly divides the, the mathematical equation because I use divisibility rules. And that's why I can say, you know, 9 million 814,000 300 divided by 4. I'll have no remainder because it ends in two zeros. <laughs> or I could say <gasps> 2007 divided by 9. No remainder. How cool is that? Now you can walk around stumping your friends. Ooh, 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 when quarantine is over. Don't, don't go hanging out with a bunch of people right now. Okay, <laughs> I love you, I miss you. I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's gorgeous outside. It's going to be even more beautiful tomorrow. Enjoy it, I love you.